Yeah, that's it, man. You keep spraying and praying. Come here, come here, come here, come here. How fast I am? I'm faster than you, I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. Don't turn around, you pussy. Oh. Welcome back and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get Orion, the easiest method that I've personally found easiest so it might not be easy for you but just going through it and seeing what weapons uh, it's easy to camos on like which, which maps and stuff like that so for ARs I'd personally do all of these because they've implemented the system from Vanguard where uh, say if there's a new weapon added you could camo that weapon so get it gold and then you wouldn't have to do it on another weapon so i completely missed out rpgs uh just because i can't be bothered <laughs> just can't be bothered to go through them again like in modern warfare 19 but yeah so i'd just do all the ars the ars are good on shoot house shipment as well um i think i did it mostly in tier one because hardcore wasn't out at the time but hardcore and tier one that them game modes where it's faster to kill people I find it easier to get camos on. Even though you might die more times, you have to have like a, a bit faster reflexes to be able to shoot the people before they shoot you. So you'll get all of the camos unlocked much faster. So for ARs, I'm pretty sure it's just... Each, each weapon has just got kills on at the start. It'll be... And to be fair, there's not a lot of them. There's not a lot of like kills within the challenge you have to do. ADS kills, yeah, they're easy. Double kills... Pro yeah, for this you'd probably need shipment or shoot house. Uh, 15 kills from behind. You can do this on a new map. I'd probably say shoot house, and then you can go around the back. If you loop around the back, and then the people who stand on the that little ledge looking down the middle, you can just go and shoot them behind the back. They're easy. Or in shipment as well, if you just run about a lot. And then three kills without dying. I'd say the same shoot house and shipment. Long shots. I mean, the most obvious one is shoot house. Obviously, shoot house ain't out all the time, like a twenty four seven mode of it, or shoot the ship. To be fair, just I just queue into hardcore like domination, and then just get long shots in it. And then for the, obviously the class that you'd build for long shots, you would usually what I what I did is just full on found the attachments which just did the most the four columns. Well, no, well the first one damage range accuracy and a bit of recoil control because you're in hardcore you don't really need to control recoil too much because if you if you aim onto the person to start off with you you're likely to get a kill for the muzzle i'd usually go for the harbinger i feel like that's the best um f tac ripper mags you don't really need and then obviously just put a scope on i was using this one quite a lot the forge tac delta and then headshots i'd probably say shipment or shoot house again you're gonna need a lot of shipment and shoot house basically to get this done fast because they're just two of the best maps to do challenges on but to be fair what, what i found is that platinum camo was actually the hardest one out of them the long shots are so annoying in this game i actually i hated doing long shots it took me so long to do long shots on every weapon battle rifles obviously kills ads kills yeah mounted which is all right as well and double kills yeah so either shoot house or shipment for that and then it just goes with the same thing for the long shots and the headshots and three kills like dying shoot the ship uh shoot house or just queue into hardcore domination and then just shoot the ship for polymatic as well but yeah i just use again just getting recoil control bullet velocity up high f type reaper seems the best for battle rifles uh, smgs again i'll do that new weapon as well and so then you don't have to do a a rocket launcher yeah these will probably be easiest in shoot house and shipment again just because they are more close range weapons faster firing and yeah just if, if you're on pc i'd make the builds with more hip fire accuracy because like keyboard and mouse players well if you're if you're on keyboard and mouse not pc if you're on keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse players seem to hip fire like more often because you're using a hot using your whole just the accuracy 
of the of the mouse you usually go to hip fire instead of having the assist of aim assist to guide you onto the person so yeah i'll just get hip fire accuracy up and then collapse stock i'll just like on smgs as well because it just makes them a lot faster you can just up the damage and everything and then have like no ads then put that on and it's fine yes yeah, so 50 kills again ads hip fire kills yeah so you even for controller players with this you'd want to make it more of a hip fire weapon so with lasers and an under barrel and a barrel as well i'm pretty sure they have all the hip fire actually like qualities to them uh yeah it's just the same thing double kills i'll be doing that in shoot the ship uh three kills not dying yet long shots shoot house i'd probably say is the best because it is an smg and that middle range down shoot house is a guaranteed long shot for any weapon i'd probably say shoot house is the best for getting long shots with smgs because it's just it feels comfortable for me to get long shots on the map i know i'm gonna get long shots on that map because i know the spot to be in to get them so yeah i'd say shoot house for smgs for long shots and then headshots again just either shoot house or shipment shotguns they're all very good in core as well so i'd probably do these in shipment it would be better to do it in hardcore because you wouldn't you can like have you have further range because you'll just kill them at maybe like 10 15 meters away uh but yeah they're all just it's a shotgun it's just it's easy to use it's gonna get kills and they're very powerful as well point blanks i, I struggle with point blanks i don't like them too much so i did these in shipment easiest way to do them i think they did take some time point blanks but yeah i do them in shipment double kills again yeah shipment will probably be easiest 25 kills of a crouch that's yeah self-explanatory just, just crouch and get kills i'm pretty sure with long shots with the shotguns you can actually get them on shipment if you sit at one end of it and there's the furthest side away from you and someone's at that other end, that will count as a long shot. But if not, try a shoot house and then maybe put slug rounds in. Slug rounds do help as well, to be fair, because it's more like a bullet. Head headshots, shipment will be easiest because these are annoying. You can't, you can't, if you don't put slugs in, you can't specifically go for headshots. You've just got to aim at the head and hope that the last pellet that kills them is a headshot shipment they, these were also quite annoying with shotguns the headshots lmgs they're just an easy weapon as well to be fair shoot the ship any one of their maps these will be fine in uh, but what i would say about lmgs is make them just the most ads you can just put everything that will do ads onto them so like the shortest barrel i think on something you could decrease the mag size and that'll make it higher ads so yeah just just do like that I don't think there is actually a... I'd probably put sprint speed on as well. Maybe like a muzzle to just reduce the recoil. Well, the recoil going left and right, vertical going horizontal. But yeah, look, I mean, look, it's still like... It's got a decent ADS speed. It's the fastest you can sort of get. Obviously, you can tune it as well. But yeah, it's almost got like barely any recoil to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just wait. If I don't control it... Yeah, that's, that's, that's insane. That's literally got nothing. And if I do control it, it's just all in one circle. But that is actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. 30 kills was prone. Yeah, easy. That's prone and get kills. It's annoying, but double kills. Shoot the ship again for double kills. And then with a suppressor, 50 kills. Yeah, that's easy as well. Just literally put a suppressor on. Uh, 25 long shots. Yeah, so you can do the shoot house. But I think I also did just something... When Shootouts wasn't out, I think I did just like Hardcore Domination, or Tier 1 Domination was out at the time, so I was doing that. And then Headshots again, either to Shipment. You'll see a lot of people using LMGs in Shipment because you just get a lot of kills, because you can just spray. Uh, now for Marksmans, yeah, I think I did I did the Tac Hem in Shipment, because it was quite good. This blue, I literally used this blueprint to get it, um, I used the blueprint to get it uh, gold or plat or whatever. Or before I, no, but it must have been polymatic or something. Yeah, I use this blueprint, but well, I can't, I can't actually see now, because that is a bit long range for a canted laser. But I literally just use this blueprint because look, that person there was like the furthest distance you'd really see. But yeah, this if you do have this, to be fair, just use it. It's pretty good blueprint. And then twenty cuts of mountain deer, yeah, that's fine. Five hit by kills, that's literally okay. Yeah, I mean that's probably the easiest one you'll ever get and double kills as well again long shots again shoot house because it is a marksman rifle you could just go into a hardcore domination again and just find maps that uh that have good spots on like the f1 map the uh, crown crown raceway i think it's called uh either side on them two outer lanes if you just shoot down them outer lanes and shoot the people on the other end that will obviously be a long shot also on that hydroelectric 
plant them up. If you sit in like the water bit where it goes into a big open water area into a corner. And if you just sit at one end of it and shoot like down when you're seeing someone, that also is a long shot. I use that for a few weapons as well. I think I was using that for pistols mainly for some reason. I, I just don't think shoot the ship was out at the time. But yeah, if you just sit in that corner and just shoot down in the in the water, that that will be long shots. The new dome map as well. I think that'll be good for long shots if you sit on top of the actual dome. Back in that spawn area where you can like look directly at the dome and see like the railings of it, I'm pretty sure they'll count as long shots. I didn't, I did, I completed it before dome came out, um, so I'm not sure, but I'd imagine it is a good map to do it on. Also, if you're doing the crossbow, if you want to do it whilst you're going to Orion, you can, but I just, I've just Orion this, um, and it, it's not the easiest it is probably the hardest one i've had to do it's just because i was doing it in shipment and it's just with people running around with the new shotgun and everything yeah no it is uh, it's not working it's not, that's not working but to be fair with all the new weapons in the chimera m13 the hemlock the bass shotguns the broadside no other lmgs snipers was the victus yeah Vix is added in, um, and then obviously dual Kadachi is added in, but if you want to just replace RPGs, you just need to do four of them weapons, which I did before the new set of weapons came in, so I did the Victus, the M13, the Chimera, and the Basp, I'm pretty sure I did them four weapons, and then so I didn't have to do the, the RPGs, just because I couldn't be bothered. Snipers, now these are different, I did snipers first, and so I didn't get sort of the big options of shoot house and stuff like that so i think what i was doing i was doing that invasion thing to like level them up this was like right at the start of the game so i didn't know like what was best to do what in so i just did these in invasion two kills within 10 seconds of each other that's all right it ain't bad i'd probably do these in shoot house and make it make a quick scope and build shoot out them i think shoot house would probably be the best for these prone kills yeah that's that's all right hip fires hip fires might have to be shipment and then just make it a hip fire accurate shipment probably for hip fire kills three kills that dying shoot house i'd say you'd stand more of a chance than in shipment at surviving uh 20 long shots yeah shoot house will probably be the best for this or just any other map because it is a sniper so it will be good at range anyway and then headshots yeah just the thing is with polymatic for the headshot challenges i just played like just casually I just played normally, not going for an actual camo because I would you just you would just get headshots. Obviously, I'd aim a little bit higher, try and go for the headshot, but you just do get headshots. It's not a thing that you have to forcefully go for all, all the time. But yeah, snipers are all right, and you can also do the Victus to get rid of one of the other weapons. Right shields, it's it's just it's going to be shipment. I'm pretty sure you have to get it to level four on oh no, a level 11 first. So I'd use a double weapon XP and then just go into shipment, kill loads of people, get it to level 11, then kill 40 people. Two kills without dying 10 times. Two kills within 10 seconds each other 10 times. 10 kills from behind the back. Oh, shipment is going to be the fastest way to get this done. One of it just by far is going to be the fastest way. I'd also carry flashes or stuns one of the two because it'd just be easier to to get to enemies because they will just shoot you they'll throw thermos at you they'll jump over you and stuff like that but yeah the right shield weren't too bad it wasn't as bad as i remember Modern warfare 19 to be and then secondaries so pistols shipment to be fair shipments gonna be like the easiest one to get them done in camos are just i think they're just the same yeah so a suppressor that's easy double kills that'll be easy in, in shipment point blanks yeah shipment you're gonna need that for and the three kills are dying and then long shots i think I don't think you can get them on shipment i'm pretty sure it has to be a bit longer than shipment is so i'd probably say shoot house for these and then headshots as well yeah just play normally with them but yeah pistols ain't too bad i like using pistols the uh the magnums i would put on akimbo snake shots once you get them because it basically just turns into like akimbo shotguns really so yeah i'd use snake shots on them deagle i'd make it a faster class the auto was actually quite a fun weapon because you can build it into just like a sort of like an lmg so you just put the, these attachments on you can put 50 round drum on and just break it into just an smg really just it's it's pretty good or you can have a akimbo akimbo what my pistols but but i think the recoil would be a bit like too much but yeah it's like barely got any recoil it's got a lot of hit markers because it's low damage so that is probably why it would be best to do it in um in hardcore because it won't take I think in hardcore it still took loads of bullets to kill. Like how many bodies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven body shots in core at that range. One, two, three, four, five, six, six at that range. I think in hardcore it's two or three. So yeah, I'd definitely do this pistol in, in hardcore and I'm pretty sure, yeah, the challenges are... Yeah, so some of the pistols you have to use a Kimbo perk on to get kills. So just slap a Kimbo perk on, make the hip fire accuracy obviously the highest you can. Um, three guys died, long shots, I think long shots for these were annoying because just the, the it was just, there was no damage to it. And then also at range it had a lot of recoil. And then 20 headshots again, yeah, just playing. If you want to do launchers, you can... But just, just it just saves a lot of time for stuff that you might not use. And then melee shipment, like the jewel could actually be alright. They were then they're just like they were just like the, the knife. You have to get to level fourteen. So just put a double weapon XP on, get kills in it in shipment. Fifty kills for this one, and then it's two kills without dying ten times. That's all right. If you put a right shield on your back, which I know is annoying in shipment, but you'll just die less often if you're using a knife. Two kills without dying. I'm pretty sure two seconds within ten seconds of each other. So if you get a kill but you die, and then you get another kill within that ten seconds of you've got the first kill but you've died in between it does still count so it it sort of it's like the gold one really there's not much of a difference to the gold and the plat one it, you're doing the same thing and the 20 goes from behind this is a bit annoying because you have to be like directly behind them if you're to the side it won't count it has to be like full-on directly behind which is annoying but, but yeah overall it's been it's a different it's the different grind to get the camos for this one because you unlock four camos for each weapon well obviously knives you only unlock one but then you can use them on any gun you want i i actually prefer this way i actually really like this way of grinding camos because you just have a camo unlock for everything and some people don't like the idea of the attachments where each gun has like a cer certain attachments that you can unlock and then put them onto a different gun because well i don't mind it because probably because i just i go for camos so i will have every weapon leveled up anyway i just i just have to have every weapon leveled up i can't play the game without having a weapon that's not maxed out i've got all the attachments and stuff like that i'd prefer to just have everything and then i can just customize from there that's why i do it anyway but it it's all right it's not like the end of the world if you need an attachment it's not too hard to get it like i'm pretty sure the i'm pretty sure this scope here it's like with the expedite you just have to get it to level six or seven which is just, it's just a shotgun and then you just level up to six or seven and you get that sight i i think it's all right it's it might have been better the way they did it like modern warfare 19 and cold war and vanguard and stuff where each gun adds the attachments you'd unlock them attachment with that gun but i just don't mind this way I, i'd pick either i wouldn't mind if it was the old way or this way i don't mind but i quite like it i, I like there's a lot more customization a lot more like even just looking at the scopes there's like so many of them and also the underbarrels as well there's so many different stuff you can have on. Usually barrels, stocks, rear grips, mags. They just have... They're just on that weapon. You can't really mix and match like barrels. I think some of you can. But then obviously like muzzles, you'll get stuff which you unlock on different on different guns. And also the under barrels as well. You'll unlock on different guns to unlock them and put them on any gun you want. But yeah, I think it's alright. And then obviously the tuning process... I usually do the protruding process because even though you might think it makes a big difference, you can tell. Like, if I did want this more ADS, I'd put it, like, like here-ish, and then I'd maybe up the recoil. And it's just, it's a, it's just more customization. I just, I quite like it with having that feel of being able to make a weapon, like, sort of unique to however you play. Just even with the fine-tuning bit. It's just, it's just a pretty sick way of doing it. But yeah, overall, the grind has been actually, it was, it was fun. Except for long shots. I really didn't like long shots this time. For some reason, I don't know why. It felt harder this time. I've got no clue why long shots felt harder. They just did. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend doing it. It's just, it is better to... If you're going to upgrade all the weapons, you may as well try to do the camos. And it's not a bad camo, really. It's, it's not a bad camo. It looks nice in game. The polymatic one is nice as well. And the gold one. They, they're vibrant and bright. And you can actually see them. It's not like a dull thing. But yeah, no, I, I, like, I like what they've done with the camos, to be fair. And yeah, it doesn't take... It's more of like a... The grind this year is like sort of a... It's not like a full-on thing you have to be always constantly on. Because if you want to get a gold weapon, it take like one or two hours to get a gold weapon. So you just do it even evenings and stuff like that after work and everything just sit and get get a gold weapon and stuff and slowly grind your way to it it's not like a, a hardcore thing where you need to grind us one weapon and you'll spend maybe like two days doing it or something so i i, I liked it i enjoyed it uh but yeah i definitely say shipment shipment and shoot house definitely do them they'll help you the most and hardcore hardcore will definitely be very good in it but yeah i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one